and welcome back to Sealing It Plays The Sims Life Stories. We just got back from the date with Mickey and ended chapter 3. Anyway, the date was just perfect. Someone catch me before I faint. Oh, Riley. Congratulations, you have unlocked Vincent's story. Now both stories are available through the main menu. Riley's story is only beginning, but feel free to visit Vincent, too. Oh, we'll play Vincent later, but thanks. Forgot there was two characters' stories in this game. It's been a long time since I played life stories. Please forgive me. But anyway, we do whatever now, unfortunately. Which is kind of sad. I don't know what else to do. Hi, Riley. I heard from a mutual friend that you were in town. How awesome is that? Say, so I'd like to swing by your place around 8 p.m. so we can catch up. How about we make it dinner? Is that cooler? Um, sure. I do not agree to that, but okay. What can I say? Hearing his voice brought back a lot of memories. I guess I'm cooking tonight, but I can barely make toast without the fire department knowing about it. I better start reading some cookbooks so hopefully we can skip the emergency room. Smart. What? What did I do? Whatever. It's not important. It's fine. Ah, Paprika. I get it now. I hope Dylan is prepared for a culinary tour de force. What time did he say he come by? Oh yeah, eight. Okay, well, eat to get dressed and then we'll make dinner. Oh, Mickey's calling. Oh my god. Um, hold on one second. Sorry, Mickey, we gotta hang up. Oh my, I've forgotten how good of a kisser Dylan was. How about I give him a real romantic kiss? After all, it's been, what, four years since we dated? That's nothing. <laughs> Wow, that was nice. Something is bothering me, though. I mean, I'm not technically dating Mickey, but we are seeing each other. However, it's almost like I'm being compelled to continue on this date with Dylan. Maybe I shouldn't question it. Ooh, Don Lothario will spin on this story. I like it. Um, let's... Oh, yeah, I gotta serve. Uh... Is there anything specific? Nope. Being with Dylan really takes me back to my days at good old Bradshaw High. What a pair we were, captain of the football team and head cheerleader. I thought you were part of the chess club. Whatever. I still remember Dylan running back and forth, jumping up and down and waving his pom-poms around. Those were the days. Oh, so he was a cheerleader and captain of the football team? Wow. Well, it doesn't specify what to make, so we're... Spaghetti. Enough for reminiscing. I better get started on dinner before Dylan starts rummaging through my trash. Dylan, are you gonna eat? There we go. Oop. Oh my goodness, dinner was excellent if I do say so myself. I don't think I can get up. I'm so full. Dylan may need to carry me. Okay, so it's just a lame excuse to leap into his arms. Either way, I'm going for it. You got up just fine. You had to use the bathroom. Oh. Aw, that's nice. Riley, I brought you this the other day and I was thinking of you. I'd like you to have it as a housewarming gift. This ain't my house, but thanks. What was it? Oh, a guilt-free mirror. Interesting. Oh, that's so nice of him, but I think it's a little too soon for me to start having any serious feelings for Dylan again. I still need to find out what's going to happen with Mickey. Today was a little strange. What with my ex-boyfriend Dylan Kinkladder dropping in for a visit? He's a really nice guy, but I wonder how much he's changed since high school. I really need to cool it with him because I don't want to damage anything with Mickey. On the plus side, I learned what paprika is. Alright, I guess I'll leave this part here since we ended chapter 4. Hopefully nothing bad happens, but uh, I don't know. Things could get really crazy with all the drama in Sims 2. But anyways guys, thank you all so much for watching, and I guess I'll see you all next time in another Sims Life Stories video, or whatever I make next. 
Goodbye for now.